Hey guys, I'm Tech from Tech Driven and today is an exciting day. Why you ask? Well, because if you were like me, you pre-ordered your Galaxy S7 and you got it in the mail today. Yes, that's what's inside this box. Security uh, tape all over it. And of course, if you pre-ordered your Galaxy S7, you were entitled to VR gear from Samsung for free. But of course, some other companies offer different deals and I'm not going to go into details you know if you want to do that go to my website techbay.com and um, I will get you all the rest information so I ordered mine from Best Buy so what they did they actually shipped me the Galaxy S7 early and of course they shipped me the v v uh, Gear VR as well some most companies what they did is if you pre-order your Galaxy S7, you uh, take their seat, go to web, uh, Samsung website, you provide that you prove that you pre-ordered one and they'll ship it to you within six weeks. Well, I got mine now. And of course, as a Best Buy bonus, you get a 64 gigabyte SD card for your Galaxy S7. So let's dig in and see what's inside. All right, before we get into gear VR, we're gonna open up our security sealed box what you're gonna need is your handy dandy uh, knife this corners open no I did not open this previously but it looks like somebody might have and it wasn't me so just make sure the phone is there it better be inside so we got our invoice we got that and of course UPS wrapped yes this package did arrive by UPS boom voila Samsung Galaxy S7 32 gigabytes this one is 418T has specs on the back if you want the specs and the photos, go to my website techbay.com. Uh, so let's open it up, shall we? So this is a regular paper cover, a little fancy, not bad. All right, so this box just opens up this way. All right, because of the instruction manual, a quick setup, and of course, Plastic still on it. Voila. And no, this is not the edge. I did not uh, get an edge because I didn't want the edges to be there. It will be inconvenient for what I'm using it for. But you know, depends on what you use it for. So I'm leaving the plastic on for now because I'm going to put glass on top of it. You know, unfortunately, the biggest. Uh, Thing that can go wrong in those phones the screens and since the battery is not replaceable and the screens are expensive you want to protect that screen at all costs if possible uh, what I noticed first and it's a little rounded like the back has sort of roundness at the on the edges same with uh, the front is except not as much a slight curve right there but the back is definitely curved sort of like if I was looking backwards I mean I'm just wondering you know I wonder to hear from uh, other people that received the Galaxy S7 is for me it looks what appears and uh, I mean quote me if I'm wrong is this is the Galaxy S7 regular but if you got the edge this is what you'll be seeing your screen will be here at least that's what the the frame looks like 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 they might have used exactly the same frame. The only thing different, maybe it's the orientation. But I mean, uh, don't quote me on that. So we got our uh, memory card slot there. Connection, you know. So they went away from the 3.0. The speaker is on the bottom now. You get a fingerprint. I'm not sure if there's anything else here. It seems like just foil. 
we're gonna leave that all on just the way it is. Let's see what else. We got our SIM cards. And I'm not sure what this is, but let's go. So we got our 2.0 charger. A USB cable and this is USB connector. Um, my guess is this is for data transferring from the old phone perhaps. That's my guess. So you can actually plug it in and uh, connect this end to the old phone, connect this one to the new phone and you can just swap your data. But I have I'll have to confirm that. And we looks like we got a new pair of headphones. If I can get them out. There, come on. Yeah, look at that. They actually made it fancier than usual. They put it in the black box. See through black box. Now let's open that up, shall we? So I believe there's similar headphones so we had. Okay, I'm not gonna actually I will because I want to see for myself as well come on come on child proof you know that's what it is pain ass okay still all right here you go headphones I'm not sure if this improvement of what they issued with previous galaxies as their remote nothing fancy but you know it will do for what we need it to do and of course there's something here as well so let's take a look okay, we got the manual safety and voila this is usually something that doesn't come with phones, so maybe some carriers will not include that. Uh, but since we bought it not registered yet to at and we paid the full price, we got a key, and this is for our SIM card. And chances are there's no SIM card, and there's no memory uh, micro SD card in here, but there's a slot for it. So. It actually marked what's for SIM and what's for micro SD card. So this is where it goes. Remember, this phone is also supposedly water resistant. So we'll see how well it does with that. I see that some components can get wet and we'll see if it actually will create any damage for it. Otherwise, it's nicely sealed. So I'm gonna leave the plastic on and I suggest you do the same until you got a, some kind of plastic cover for it. Once you do that, the, you peel that off and stick it right on there. That way you don't have any dust residue on it. So let me put this back really quick. And we're going to head over to our Gear VR content. Come on. I'm using I'm packing this nicely because I'm gonna take some photos from our website. So if you need photos or anything like that, details, you know, log into T E C K B A Y dot com. Come on. So you see I think this one the connect was uh, added later on in time as it doesn't have a place. Really, so they weren't planning on giving it away, but they did. So we'll take it. Okay, so we got the Galaxy Seven all set. I'm gonna take some photos, charge it up, get the front screen on it, and our case. We're gonna be good to go. So let's take out our Gear VR, which is a good name, Gear VR. But anyways, voila.
All right, there's some box residue. All right, so it comes with a strap for your head. Second one. Uh, this is getting started guide, health, safety, warning guide. Yeah, we're gonna ignore that for now. But we're gonna hurt ourselves with a gear. Okay, so it tells you how the straps go and stuff. Cool. Let's take out the, this precious baby. All right, so it still has plastic, some uh, glass. In the front as well. See, this is a cover. All right, so let me take it off before I bust it. Of course, this is where the bone would go. on here for now because it came off when I was showing you. The reason I'm doing this is I don't know what this is for. This might be might have a purpose but I'm not sure. We'll leave it here just to protect the lenses from getting any dust on it. So of course this one runs on batteries as well so you gotta charge it. Let's close it up. Let's so do it. I'm doing it right. Probably not. Here we go. Sit side. Okay. So we, we got our adju uh, eye adjustments in the bottom. We got a joystick right here. Buttons, return, and nothing on this side. So this is pretty much what comes in the box. Just make sure there's nothing in here. Nope. So that's it. And of course, the Gear VR comes with extra games, which I'm not sure exactly how to obtain them yet. But I'm sure if you register and you sign up, they'll give you the games for this particular unit. <coughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more as I will show you how to transfer content from your old Galaxy to your new Galaxy S7. Thank you for watching.